Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a long time. Well, just thought I'd let you check out my new workbench that I've been working on. <coughs> ah, forgive me, but it's been a while. This is my new workbench, and I've got a few tools that I thought I'd show you. Uh, the radio business is going well. Thank you for all the sales. Uh, yeah, this workbench my brother and I put together. And we've got three electrical boxes. I'll tell you what those are in a minute. Met an electrical box there. And one over here. First off, I may be doing a review on some of these things independently. This is a Durham uh, Durham storage container. And it's the one with roller bearings. I'm going to have a drink here in my water. But, eh, let's go ahead and these pull out, you can lift them up, and you can take the parts with you, which is a really nice feature. I've been looking for storage, uh, storage pieces, or drawers like these for a long time. There you can see the roller bearings and slides. It holds a lot of weight, but this is pretty much just for home stuff. Parts, sorted parts. What's nice about these is this part comes out and you can sort your stuff however you need to. I've still got a lot to do in here, but for the most part, I've just got some organization, more organization to do. Uh, I've got screws, clips, batteries, nuts, wire nuts. Yeah, I know the video sucked, but you know, it's been a while and some of you guys have been wanting to see videos, radio videos. I've run out of things to talk about, but... Oh, well, you know how that goes. Haven't really done much with this cabinet. Th or this drawer. This has adjustable... Uh, adjustable in little compartments. The whole thing will run you about 180. That's with all the drawers and the roller bearing. Oh by the way, boatload of motor motor turbo. Boatload of motor turbo brand new. These are OEM. These aren't the Japanese or Chinese knockoffs. Focus. Lots of volume knobs. I've got the dust covers. I've got a shitload of uh, parts. I've got hookup wire for model cars. A little bit of paint. Some cleaning supplies. And like I said, I still haven't gone through this one yet and filled it, filled it up. I've got my pyramid power supply hooked up. And I've also got a Weller soldering station, which is really nice. Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, this... I've got a real nice light 
the switch is this switch powers the power strip that I have running uh, or vertically along the table and that turns on my magnifying light this controls what's right up here which is a uh, really really nice it's held on with Hollander fittings uh, Hollander fittings Hollander fittings and then it goes down to another Hollander fitting and this is an LED task light so I just flip that on bingo you got a really nice I think it's a thousand a thousand lumens uh, task light and this this switch right here turns on all the outlets I'm real happy with this I've got a little uh, oh man got a nice little shop chair got a little Samsung pad okay Get a Weller soldering station, and this thing works really, really good. Heats up so quickly, it's adjustable. And I highly suggest Weller. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, the Pyramid power supply is really, really nice. You can hook up mobile units. Uh, DC and you know converts uh, AC to DC so that's good for a lot of different uh, things like radios and things like that here I've got a husky tool cabinet and this turned out really nice I made special I made special little stickers drill bits screwdrivers strippers crimpers riveters files fragile tape focus cable ties brushes power bits clamps and other stuff wrenches, crescent wrenches, needle nose, uh, pliers, got some, uh, let's see, what are these, vice grip pliers, cutters and utility knives, and insulated screwdrivers, and Nimpress firmware charger kit. Up top here, you've got the Husky logo. What I've got in here, it's made by Silverline. Oh, by the way, I got this stainless steel plate, which is a really good work surface. And it is really nice. They did a good job with it. These are insulated screwdrivers made by Silverline. They're actually pretty good for my use. Uh, I use insulated screwdrivers on radios. And this set is really, really nice. They don't mar the housings if you're doing a, a switch out for speakers and uh, flex. And they're really good screwdrivers. They're only 500 volt rated, not a thousand. But I think they turned out pretty nice, and I think they're going to be very good. Let's see what else do I got? Oh, this drawer just has some specialty pliers and cutters shipping supplies, cable torches and brushes, can never get enough of those.
more uh, drill driver and power bits. These are really nice. These are Allen. Allen or Torx, I forget. But they work on impressed game chargers. And you need a long reach to get to them. And they work like a charm. Got a set of those. Screw it. <laughs> I haven't tried these yet, but I'm not sure exactly how good they are. Some Mil Milwaukee. These are really nice. Milwaukee uh, power bits, impact power bits. And, oh yeah, these are roller bearing cabinets. These are uh, power drill driver bits and sets. A hole saw, some pins. Nice cobalt set. I've got screwdrivers and nut drivers here. These are all Klein nut drivers. Screwdrivers are Stanley, which really aren't bad screwdrivers. Hemostats, clamps, and pickup tools. Now keep in mind, this isn't a mechanic shop. Uh, channel lock wire strippers, wrench and wire strippers, uh, crescent wrench set, needle nose pliers. And these are real nice. These are all channel lock. I've got some Klein strippers, Klein, Klein wrenches adjustable. These are real nice. These are uh, Journeyman by Klein, multi-purpose, and just picked these up not long ago. They cut bolts here, and they cut wire, they loop, they twist, and they strip, and they're very, very good. I've got some... Uh, Crescent, uh, crescent pair of pliers, crescent pliers, crimpers, lineman's pliers, uh, craftsman adjustable, another adjustable wrench, not adjustable, it's uh, uh, I'm too tired. But there's a riveter kit, torpedo level and all, I just have, these, these are clines and these are clines. Those are journeymen. And I've just got some vice grips. These are really nice. They're called vampires. And they have really, really wicked teeth on them. And you can pretty much get anything out that you grab onto. And it's also got some cutters. Really, really good. I highly suggest those. Uh, Stanley all. I've got a stainless steel rivet kit that's real nice Marson it's got the rivets in it uh, I've got a file set, fragile tape, hacksaw blades insulated screwdrivers, impressed firmware this is Linux Hacksaw blades that are cheap just don't get it. Linux makes very good ones. Fragile tape do not drop. Don't drop any of my shipments to USPS. Got some ideal wire strippers here. Really, really good. They're automatic wire strippers. You can change the teeth out on them if you ever needed to. Uh, impress firmware kit. For upgrading firmware and impressed chargers. I've got a cheap set of files, drill bits, drill bit guide, uh, little adjustable wrench. Got this and this is real nice. This is a DeWalt impact uh, driver. 1.5 amp 20 volt max. Has three nice little lights on it. 
DCF855. I'm waiting on a belt clip for it. But with a 1.5 amp hour battery, it's 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 a real awesome. I like it. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I put like I think four coats of polyurethane on this. Then I followed it up with Rust-Oleum on the side here. Got a brand new trash can. A brute of all things. Uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, over here I've got baggies where I bag stuff up once I'm done with it. Here's another tool chest. And this has just got uh, different supplies in it. Uh, I got some tape, got some boxes, some sorted stuff here. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, here, yeah, over here I've got another. Just a little half inch impact wrench and some shears. Brushes to fix. Nothing of any consequence. Just got some screwdriver standard tip. They're all craftsmen, they're all not bad. And then I've got the Phillips here. Step bits, other bits, chisel set with hammer, die grinder and safety glasses, cheap chisel set, finger saw ran die grinder. Get this open. Oh, Motorola parked bin. It's a good die grinder. Metal file and drill bit set. Standard wrenches, impact wrenches that are half inch. SAN metric. Standard sockets. And little air. Quarter inch, three eighths inch, different sockets. Got some impact sockets in there. It's claw hammers. Clamps and a real nice palm sander that I haven't used yet. DeWalt. Very, very good. It's going to be really nice. Got some Forzner bits. Made in China, but they work. And this is a Husky cabinet. Over here I've got my <coughs> void fill and I've got different different things in here. I'm running out of space, I'm having to work quick here. Over here I've got a tool or a cord hider. These are really nice because you just slide the cords in, they disappear, and then you just tap them into the strip. Got a prep table. Prep slash work table. Got storage over here. Then I've got laser printer, Windows XP, Windows 10, for radio work, and in here. I've got my drum set, Octobons, Zildjian, A Zildjian cymbals. They're actually brilliant finish. This is an Apex drum set. Uh, I've got another empty Durham cabinet that I need to bring the need to bring the things back in. But anyway, I've got a, some assorted radios, things like that. Just a few of them. 
Oh, and I still have my Snap-on diorama, believe it or not. 124 scale, I believe. Anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well. Oh, and by the way, if you need Moto Turbo, uh, Moto Turbo or the uh, XDA, XDS 2500 bell clips, I've got about 500, 600 each. Storage on the bottom shelf. Turned out pretty nice. Have a small air air compressor, and that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you're doing well. Haven't talked to you in a while. If you need any radios, get a hold of me. You know how? Go through eBay, not through YouTube, because I don't get on YouTube that much. But that's pretty much in the way of my shop. I think it turned out pretty nice. Take it easy guys, later on.